you taste it first, and if it's okay, you put some for me. Where do wombats, golf, rugby, and award-winning wines come together? Well, here at Wombat Crossing Vineyard. It's all about the passion combined with hard work and attention to detail. This passion has helped Ian Napier to create wines from this small vineyard that are considered by some as the best in the Hunter, including winning a trophy for best in show with his single vineyard, Hermit's Block Shiraz. So for our first release wine week, Ian is actually going to release a wine from the same block, but it's going to be from one of the best vintage supposedly ever. When you come to taste these wines, don't mention Ian's golf or the rugby. Just enjoy the wines. We're putting forward two wines. Firstly, we've finished our 2014 Semillon, so mm. we're moving to the 2017. Okay. But more importantly, we're releasing what must be one of the Valley's last release, 2014 Shiraz. Shiraz comes from what I call the Hermit's Block, named after me during the week, <laughs> which is up on Hermitage Road. And making this wine, probably the key ingredient is the work we do in the vineyard, because wine is made in the vineyard. And so what food do you think you would recommend with this one, Ian? Either cheese or steak. Cheese is for you, because I know that you <laughs> enjoy the occasional cheese. Tell me about this Shiraz. What am I going to find in here? Cherries. I always get a bit of lilac coming through from that Shiraz vineyard. Oh, it's lovely. It's got some interesting spices mm. developing in it. It's a slightly bigger wine than what we mm. normally produce, but it is really a fragrant, a typical Hunter Shiraz. In general, this is one of the best vintages we've produced here in the vineyard. So Ian, you have a winemaker, you work with him, what do you do that's special? Well, Jeff Byrne and I and Xanthi Hatcher work on creating these wines. Mm -hmm. What I find helpful with Jeff is that he's very open and he's very interested in what we're doing, what our wine is. Uh, now, obviously, when it gets into the winery, it to a combination of new uh, first year, second year, and third year French oak. Okay. And it remains in that oak for about 18 months. It essentially is a uh, four-year-old wine that has had the time to come together in the bottle okay. in the cellar. Jeff and others believe that we have a good Shiraz vineyard and the fruit that comes off it is in the top of vineyards in the valley. Now, 2014, of course, was probably one of the legend vintages. I've heard people describe it as the best since the 60s, Why? 70s. What's Unfortunately, I can't remember much about the 60s. <laughs> uh, I just think it is the complexity of the wine, it's the flavours that come through, it's the fact that it wasn't affected by rain or anything okay. like that in the picking season. We just had a bit of a dream run. Yes. <laughs> well, all the very best, all, and here's to success. Thanks, Pop. With this release, well done. Thank you. We're going to do one of those launch ceremonies where <laughs> we get a bottle of champagne and, and launch this one. Are we going to waste a bottle of champagne? No, we're Should just I going sit to under pour it. Catch it all? We'll just pour it over it. <laughs> oh, that's all right then. I'll... You can be underneath yeah, it. Yeah, I'll, we'll... I'll get all the bits. <laughs> we'll pour it over it. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be in there. This is lovely. This is going to be the Wombat Crossing wet shirt. Oh. <laughs> With red wine. <laughs> With champagne. No, with champagne.